What you guys got another video here for you. In this one we're going to be looking at how to recover your deleted data with a free program called Recover. Now this one was requested by a guy called Rob a long time ago and uh, I finally got around to it to make this video for you. So here you can see this is where you get the free program from uh, from Piriform.com. They also make some other useful programs like CCleaner, Defragler and uh, Specky. Now all you need to do is come to the uh, downloads part here and they do a free version as you can see but they also do a professional version and also a business version I don't know what the dif differences are between this and the free version um, you'd have to also inquire about that but the free version does a pretty good job now this will recover data from uh, digital camera cards mp3 players, uh, recycle bin, windows uh, hard drives laptop hard drives, all that sort of stuff and pen drives now I've already downloaded and installed mine and what we're going to be doing is recovering data from a pen drive. The reason why I'm doing it from a pen drive is because this pen drive is only 512 megabytes and it won't take too long to scan. So here you can see I've got some test files here right up to number 7 and inside there it's just got some text so we can uh, recover these files. Now when I delete these files they will be deleted, they won't go straight to the recycle bin, they just get deleted from the pen drive. Let's delete these. And once they're deleted, they're gone. They don't go to the recycle bin. And let's fire up our recover. Now I've got a folder on my desktop called recovered, and this is where we're going to recover our data to. It's always best not to recover the data to the same drive that you're scanning. It's always best to uh, recover that data to an external drive or another partition. Okay, so we've got these options open to us. You can either go through the wizard mode. Now the wizard mode is going to be quite useful uh, for beginners and as you can see pictures, music, documents, select what you want to do um, and then all you need to do next is go next and it, it will give you some options here, I'm not sure, uh, only in my media card or iPod and so on and so on and so on. Uh, you select what you wish there but you can also click cancel and go straight into the actual program yourself and just do a, a main scan on the drive itself without going through all those questions. So I'm going to select my drive here, pen drive. OK, we've got some options open to us. If we go to actions, you're going to see there's a load of boxes here that we can actually tick. Now we're going to cover this in a second. So first off, I want to do a quick scan. Now a quick scan is just going to do a quick scan of the drive and see if it can recover the, just the, the deleted files that you've just deleted on there by accident. So let's do that right now. And as you can see, it's quite quick. It was pretty much a second or so, and uh, it shows up some files. And there you go. There are the files here. We've got example, and we've got test. Now some of these test ones have gone, as you can see. Now if this does happen, this is I'm great. I'm glad this has happened um, because that means I can do a deep scan to show you how to do it. Now you can see it hasn't recovered all of these. Now when they're red, that means uh, they're unrecoverable and when they're green it means they're recoverable you may also get some yellow ones now yellow means partially recoverable which means some of the data may be missing from it if it's a picture you may see blocks missing or color uh, lines going across the documents which aren't going to be much use to you so let's uh, ignore this and go and do another scan because we can't get all our files back so we go to options actions and then what we're going to do here if you click on restore folder structure this is what you want to do if you're trying to recover large files and uh, file structures folder structures uh, of the actual main C drive of a computer uh, but I'm going to tick that anyway I'm just going to tick all these but you can see there is one here called deep scan which increases your scan time because it's it does a much deeper scan of the drive itself to try and recover those files you've also got scan for non-deleted files and also securely overwritten files. So we're going to just tick all these. Now overwritten files are, are pretty hard to recover and it will be difficult for this type of program. So what we're going to do here now is uh, do a scan of the drive again. And as you can see it's a lot more slower and that's because it's doing a deeper scan.
Okay, so that's the scan now finished. And as you can see, there's a lot of red here. I'm going to pull this down. And we've got some JPEGs here, you can see. Some zip files. And I'm just going to recover everything here. And we'll just click on recover. And then we're going to select our drive or folder, I should say, in this case. But if you're going to select another drive for another external drive, then you can do that here as well. But we're going to be doing it to a folder on our desktop. Click OK. And this will transfer all the files that it's recovered. Partially recovered, 20 files. Fully recovered, 35 files. So you can see partially recovered means some of these have been damaged. So click OK here. And there you can see the actual documents that is recovered. We've got our test files that you can see they've been recovered. Which is the 1 to 7 test files. And there's loads of other stuff that's been recovered and I've only just deleted these just to give you an example really but we'll go to unknown folders and this is some of the stuff that is recovered some of the images now I know there's been more stuff on this pen before so this program has got its limitations but remember it is free and uh, there is paid versions and I don't know what the difference is for those paid versions. There is also other software that you can use if you're an IT technician that does quite a good job at recovering that data as well. Okay, So that's pretty much it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. My name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. If you enjoy these videos hit that subscribe button and rate your favourite all my videos if you enjoy them and I'll be making more videos again in the future. Now if you've got any video requests drop me a message and I'll do my best to make that video for you and uh, I'll be seeing you again soon. Bye for now.